again. Yay! Um, so today's letter of the alphabet is E, and this time I've just written down all of the ones that I've got on my little book. Um, I'm thinking I'll just do one of each instead of having like so many of the same one having different entries just because I feel like that broadens what I'll get better. Um, so today it's the letter E and I got egg, eggplant, elephant, earth, eye, electric and ethereal. So these are all really exciting. Um, it'd be interesting to really get any one of them. So I will just go ahead and ask Siri now what one to do. And I don't have another phone to ask Siri, so I'm just going to ask my computer which one to do. Okay, so I got the number six, if you can see that. I don't know. Um, yeah, I got the number six, so that is electric. I'm just going to skip ahead through my base makeup. It'll be the same as always, just because it's really boring and I don't own any other products in the ones that I use, so I'm not using different products, so... I'll speed you up for that bit right now. So today, because I'm doing an electric kind of look, I'm probably going to be using blue on my eyes, which means I don't really want to be using like a pinky blush because it'll clash. So I'm just going to go into my Androgyny palette by Jeffree Star and use the shade Charm for a little bit of blush. into my Jeffree Star Ice Cold highlighter this time. Today I'm going to be using the Androgyny palette and I'm just going to go in with the shade Safe Word which is this colour right here and I'm just going to put that in my crease. charm which is again that orangey color and I'm just going to do the exact same thing and just for some more opacity I'm just going to take both of those shades again and do that same process over my lid and in my crease But I will be coming into the Thirsty palette by Jeffree Star and I'll be using this blue shade called Submerge and I'll just pop that right on my lid. So back in 
into the androgyny palette, I'm just gonna go back into those two colors we used in the crease and I'm just gonna try blend that out. And I'm just gonna repeat that process again with the blue and then blending it out with those two colors. Adding the colour in there just so that it sticks to my lid and doesn't blend itself out. So you can see it's way more opaque this way. Right, so this is what the eyes look like and I'm just going to try and dust away that fallout. I'm, I'm just going to go in with this shade Swallow and I'm just going to put this right up in my top lower lash line. brush by Sigma, just a little bit thicker than my other pencil brush and I'm going to come back into the shade Submerge and use that colour to blend out the dark blue under the eye. Just with this brush that I was using for my two colours before in the crease, I'm just going to use this to blend the rest of the bottom out. I'm just going to go into my deep freeze skin frost and I'm just going to put this on my lid and then on my inner corner. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my yellow eyeliner to make this look real cool. So I've just got my Queen Bee lipstick and I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hair and then I'm gonna mix a little bit of that in with some concealer. I again got my trusty little old eyeliner brush. That is kind of what I did. Um, it's just turned a little green where it's mixed with the eyeshadow, but I think just with a couple more layers, it'll be fine. So just to finish the eyes off, I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop eyeliner in the shade Punch. <laughs> this is just gonna go on my bottom waterline, and then I'm gonna put a black up in the top. My normal black by Maybelline. Now I'm just going to go into my Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara.
kind of look like this. I've got an orangey blush on. I really want to do an orange lipstick. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I've got this orange liquid lipstick in the shade Yummy by Jeffree Star. <laughs> Who else? It is so bright and vibrant. I love bright and vibrant looks. This is very different eyeliner, though I probably would do this look again. Maybe not with the hard eyeliner, but definitely with the colours. They are such complementary colours of each other and I absolutely love it. So glad that I got to be able to do this. So yeah, this is the finished look. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a really great day. Thank you.